Hey there, swim fans. Here with another episode of Whiteboard Wednesday. And on today's episode, we're talking about strength and conditioning using suspension cables. Yes, we have 30 different exercises lined up for you between upper body, lower body, and your core to get you training and swimming faster than ever before. So you might ask, why would I worry about strength and conditioning anyways? There's three main benefits. Number one is to prevent injury so you don't hurt yourself, especially your shoulders, knees, joints, and other parts of your body. It also increases your stroke rate, meaning you can take more strokes in less period of time, and you can improve your distance per stroke. So all of these different suspension cable exercises are going to help you prevent injury, increase your stroke rate, and increase your distance per stroke, thus making you a faster swimmer. So let's get right into it. The first exercises are gonna work on the upper body. So first of all, we have push-ups. Push-ups are a great way to engage your upper body. Then you're gonna do push-ups with the pike. So you bring your, your hips up and you're gonna really activate your core. Next up, you have push-ups with a knee tuck. So you're bringing your knees into your chest, really engaging your core, stabilizing your entire body. Next up, you've got push-ups at an incline. So you're actually gonna walk your, with your hands, you're gonna walk yourself out of the normal plane of motion, and you're gonna put more pressure on your upper body and have more of your body weight impacting the actual push-up itself. Next up, you're gonna do single leg push-ups. So you're actually gonna put one foot in the, in the bands, in the suspension cables, and then the other foot is just gonna hang free. And you're gonna maintain a proper body position with your body parallel to the ground. You're gonna go single leg push-ups. The next version of that, which is even harder, is the Spider-Man push-up. So as you're pushing down and you're lowering your body to the ground, you're actually gonna bring your knee and you're gonna do like an oblique crunch. So you're gonna bring in your knee to the side without touching the ground, and really activate and stabilize your core. Now the next up is a little bit more difficult for the upper body, it's called the L-sit. So you're gonna put your body in a perfect L position and you're actually gonna pull yourself up, activating your core, keeping your legs parallel to the ground and that's really challenging on both your upper body as well as your core stability. Next, we're gonna flip it around and instead of putting your feet in the actual suspension cables, you're gonna put your hands on the holds and you're gonna go chest press. This is like doing a push up at an angle. There's a few different variations of this and the further you get your feet from underneath your body, uh, the harder it's going to be. So there's chest press and then there's chest flies. So flies, you're keeping your arms almost 100% straight and you're gonna really work on activating the pectoral in the front of your chest. And finally, there's tricep extensions, and you can do bicep curls, but tricep extension, two variations. Uh, first variation is where your hands are facing away from you, and the next variation, which is more difficult, is where your hands are facing towards you, really activating your tricep. Now, all of these upper body movements are actually total core. There's no such thing as doing with the uh, TRX or the suspension cables. No such thing as upper body or lower body. You're activating your entire body, which is what makes them so awesome. We have some bonus ones for you actually. We have stability. So you're gonna do the alphabet and you're going to have a ball or a medicine ball or a tennis ball, anything like that. You're gonna hold it out in front. You're gonna pull your shoulder, pull your arm into your shoulder so your arm isn't out here and you're gonna draw the alphabet. So start with A, B, C, D and you're gonna do it really small and about arm is parallel to the uh, ground. Next up, you're gonna do with a large alphabet symbol. So you're gonna go A, B, C, and you're gonna do the entire alphabet with each arm much bigger. You can even do this with both arms together, and you can do it with a plate, whether it's you know, 10 pounds or 10 kilograms, or even five pounds, a little bit lighter. You can also do it with the MySwim Pro Shield. Got another bonus exercise for you, which is internal and external rotations. This is where you have a cord, maybe not a TRX or suspension cable, but you're gonna have your elbow locked in, you're gonna have your shoulder blades back, and you're gonna do standard external rotation, really focusing on stability, form, and patience. And finally, there's external rotations where you actually lie down on your side. And this is where you're on your side, you wanna put a towel underneath your elbow to make sure that everything is stabilized. And you're doing the same motion as an external rotation, anywhere from 10 to 15 reps. Each arm for three sets is perfect. And that'll work on the stability and stabilizers, really getting all of your back and shoulder activation so that way you're injury free. And what's not on here is there's a couple more exercises that you can do with the TRX which are creating the letters. So you're gonna create the T, 
right? You're gonna create the Y and you're gonna create the M. So you're actually using your body to shape these different letters and that's really gonna activate your back muscles and really all the stabilizers that will keep your shoulder and elbow joints intact. Uh, another exercise that for your upper body, which is on the pull motion. So you're gonna do uh, a, a back row. So you're actually pulling yourself in. Your body's at about 45 degrees and you're gonna pull yourself in. And then you're gonna do a uh, back row pulling towards your face. So you're gonna pull to your face and it's gonna be a little bit higher position. Instead of a back row, you're pulling to your chest. Back row, pull to your face. And then the third variation of this is where you're doing a back row to your face and then you do an external rotation. So you're pulling yourself in and then you're externally rotating your shoulder, really focusing on technique. Again, if you put your feet further apart from each other, it's gonna be a little bit easier. If you put your feet together and you're at a bigger angle, it's gonna be a lot more difficult. Let's look at the lower body. So we've got the squat and the, and the suspension cables will help you maintain your form with the squat and really let you get low where your hips, your thigh is parallel to the ground. Keep your knee over your ankle and don't let your knee come forward past the front of your foot. Uh, after squats, we've got jump squats. Jump squats are really explosive. But again, you should maintain perfect technique. You've also got my favorite, the pistol squat. The pistol squat is where you keep one foot uh, straight out in front, your leg is straight, parallel to the ground, and you're gonna go up and down, and you're gonna really focus on activating your core, stabilizers, glutes, hamstrings, all that good muscle engagement. You've also got the burpee. The burpee is one of my favorites. We have it listed twice, I believe, because the burpee is just so much fun. And the burpee is, is as it would be without the suspension cables. You're down on the ground, you do a push up, and then you're gonna jump up, and you're gonna be really, really explosive. Uh, the burpee with the suspension cable is really difficult because you're only using one foot and it, it's locked into the cable itself. So um, be careful with that. If you're just starting out, you don't have to be jumping. You can do it by placing your hands on the ground and build from there. Uh, next up, you've got the lunge. So the lunge is great. It really opens up your, you know, your groin. Uh, you get hamstring activation, glutes, uh, really good lower body activity. And then you've got lateral lunges, which is where you're activating the side of your leg. Um, you've got the skater jump. The skater jump is the more explosive form of the lateral lunge. And of course, you've got the jumping split leg lunge, split leg squat, where you're actually doing the split leg squat, but you're exploding from, from one foot to the other foot. Uh, one foot forward, one foot backwards. Um, we've also got some core exercises with the suspension cable. Now, again, I mentioned Everything on the upper body and lower body, you're activating your core in some way, but there are some exercises that are specifically targeting just your core, not just your upper body or your lower body, but really hitting the diaphragm. And one of these is the standing arm rotation. So you're basically standing, both arms are together, um, holding both of the suspension cables, and you're actually gonna rotate your total body uh, side to side as if you're doing a freestyle or backstroke stroke. Finally, you've got the C-spine, which is really focused on your glutes, hamstrings, and lower back. You're sitting on the ground, you're bridging your hips up, trying to get them past uh, flat and parallel to the ground. You've got the alternating tuck, which is where you're on your front, your knees are gonna curl into your opposite elbows. Very, very difficult. Then the hardest two are probably the oblique plank. So you're on your side in a plank position. Obliques are really doing a lot of work to stabilize your body. And then you've got the oblique plank curl, which is probably the hardest exercise, which is where you're in the plank position on your side, and you're actually gonna curl your knees in, um, and this is really gonna tax your, your diaphragm and really get a lot of stability. Um, some pro tips for using the suspension cables. Start with dynamic stretches. If you haven't seen our other strength and conditioning video, we have a whole bunch of dynamic exercises, stretches that you would do before you either swim or do any kind of dry land strength and conditioning workout. Always start with dynamic. Make technique a priority. So the second tip is make technique a huge priority. And of course, modify for ability. So if you can't do some of these exercises, you can do a simpler version, adjust your position. If you have an injury, work around that so that way you're not putting yourself in a position to hurt anything worse than it already is or hurt yourself in the first place. Um, and of course, do static stretching after you do the activity. So do dynamic before, you know, swinging motion, not holding it. 
because uh, your, your muscles are cold. And then once your muscles are warm after doing all this great engagement, do static stretches where you're gonna hold the muscle. You know, if your hamstrings are tight from doing some of this stuff, you're gonna reach down, you're gonna get your you know, toe touches. And this is going to help you improve not only your stroke rate, but your distance per stroke and help you prevent injury. This was Whiteboard Wednesday talking about suspension cables. If you want more videos like this, leave a comment in the description and check out more of our dryland training content. Happy swimming, bye.